washed baking potatoes. So these are varieties of potato that only produce maybe six or seven potatoes on each plant. But that means that those potatoes grow really quickly and they grow really big. So they make ideal potatoes for jackets um, and have a creamy, smooth oh, texture. Lovely. Yeah, I always pick a massive potato for jacket potato, I do. <laughs> and fill it with everything. Okay, and these ones are red in front. Yes, these are red. These have like a red pigment in the skin, but inside they are still, still white. Um, we have some varieties that are also pink, even purple inside. But it is not unusual to have varieties with a pink skin. Oh, I'd like to try a pink potato, that'd be nice. And we have one here which is not just pink, but also white as well. So it, in the area of the potato where, it's, where, where the sprouts develop, um, you have a pink part and in, in the rest it's white. What this would is, you use that for? This is King Edward. Right. Um, this variety is over 100 years old. Wow. Um, and it's still one of the best varieties for making roast potatoes. Oh, roast potatoes on a Sunday. Very nice indeed. At the front, we have a few baby, or baby and salad potatoes. These are varieties that grow um, to only a small size, but on each plant, you may have 20, 30, 40 even potatoes. Um, so you get lots and lots of small, sweet, crisp, uh, fresh potatoes. These are excellent. Just pour them in the book, tip them into water, boil them, eat them. Um, Lovely. Maybe mix them with some mayo to make like a potato yeah, salad. Yeah, make the potato smaller salad. Ones. Lovely. Eat them with fish. Um, over here, we have an imposter. This is the sweet potato. Now, sweet potatoes, although they look like potatoes, are completely from a completely different family of plants. It's like comparing an apple with an orange. So these grow from swollen roots rather than swollen stems like potatoes. I never knew that, David. I honestly thought they were a proper potato, just a bit sweeter in taste. No, no, they're a completely different family. Fascinating. Yeah. And what do we have here lastly? Uh, the last one is the Maris Piper. Uh, the Maris Piper has been grown for almost 50 years now. It's the most popular variety in the UK. It's okay. grown by, has a bigger area than any other variety. And it is still the favorite for the fish and chip shops oh. and, and great for making chips. Oh, fantastic, thank you so much, David. And of course, chips aren't that great for you, um, but uh, if you choose a potato that isn't deep fried, then it's really, really good for you. Um, it's a starchy food that gives you energy. It's a source of vitamin B6, which is good for your immune system and a source of vitamin C as well.